This demo will walk you through the modeling program and some of its features. The modeling program can be purchased with Trust &E. This software will allow you to design buildings quicker and easier. To start a project with the modeling program, select the Modeling Tools menu. Then select Building Design Data to input the general information for your project. Create a folder for your project directly under C colon backslash truss and click Open. The input screens in the modeling program are very similar to the Trust d and &E program. Fill in the required information for your building and continue to the next screen. Fill the project information required for each screen. Once the project information has been entered for all four screens, click on the Draw Truss icon. The truss will draw. Verify that your information is correct and click to exit. The Model Options screen will appear. Select the rules required for this project and click the check mark button. If you also have the Wall Panel Pro module, the Wall Default Design options will appear. Input the wall information and click the check mark button. Now you will select the floor level to design. Because you always want to design from top to bottom, you start the design at the roof trust uppermost floor wall layout. The red highlighted area shows what you are designing. For this level, we will design the roof trusses. The modeling program will allow you to design up to six floors. Click the check mark button. This is the input screen for all the information for your building. This is the main building information. Here is where you will input your add-on information. Select the button for the desired add-on and input the information for that add-on. You can add up to six add-ons to the front and back of the main building and three add-ons to the left and right sides of the main building. You can also add an add-on to any add-on. You can specify the overframing truss sections and gable truss sections. Select Truss Layout and click the check mark button. If you had an add-on to add-on building, then an additional input screen will appear to enter that information. Click the check mark button when finished. Click the yes button to overwrite the trusses. The layout will draw. This is the main building area. And these are the add-ons. This is the add-on to add-on. When the layout is correct, you can make modifications. Select the buttons above for all modifications to your building. Let's modify the ceiling plane for a vaulted ceiling. Follow the instructions to create the ceiling. For all modifications, you will use the mouse to select the area to modify. Input the required information for the modified ceiling and click the check mark button. The shaded area shows the location of the modified ceiling in the main building. Other modifications can be made such as add support walls, openings, extend the roof, attic trusses, roof dormers, and many more. Once you have designed the roof truss layout, you can select the arrow up button to continue designing each level. The level 1 layout input screen is for basement trusses. Notice the input screen is very similar to the roof truss input screen. You can specify a floor system such as trust, joist, or concrete deck. The floor truss layout will draw. We added ducts to this floor model. 
When you have finished the design of the entire building for all levels, analyze starting at the roof level. Select the roof trusses. Select truss layout. Right click the mouse and select auto analysis. The program will start the analysis process and automatically load the trusses. Once this is finished, the layout will draw. In the layout drawing, trusses that passed will show a solid line, and trusses that failed will still show a dotted line. Click the View Truss icon and select the truss that failed. Click on the Analyze button to analyze this single truss. Continue this process until all the trusses have passed in your project. When the project is complete, you can print your reports. Select Truss Project Reports. Then select Project Summary Reports. Select your project. All trusses that have passed will display. The report will print. Select the Reports menu to view other reports. Several reports can be created to provide more information. Reports for individual trusses can also be printed. Select Truss Project Reports and Truss Design and Estimating Reports. And select the files and reports to print. The modeling program is very simple to use and will save enormous amounts of time. Thank you for spending this time to view our software demo. For more information, go to our website, www.jfba.com.